Okay, I need to talk about something really quick. Kind of mentioned it before, but it really needs a dedicated video. Obviously, I have a, a DX camera here, the D7100. Well, it is the case that D series uh, screw drive lenses will not autofocus on uh, D3000 or D5000 series cameras, nor can there be non CPU metering on older AI and AIS lenses on those same series. You need to drop the notion from your head of whether to purchase a DX or an FX lens. Well, I have a DX camera, I need to hunt for DX lenses. I have an FX camera, I need to hunt for FX lenses. And all of this is total bullshit. Everything you've read in magazines is bullshit. Um, the best lens is the best lens. There are some best lenses, both for money and value, for use on FX cameras. However, there are very few in that instance. One of them would be, especially unless it's like a Nikon D700 where it's APS-C crop sensor mode drops it down to a hair over 4 megapixels, therefore you would not want to use DX lenses on an FX camera such as the D700 as is the case with like D600, D800 series, Nikon D4 uh, the use of, say, the 10.5mm fisheye, which is typically $300 and $320 used, um, even in uh, APS-C crop sensor mode, a 20x30 print from that cheap fisheye lens uh, is incredible. Um, the 16mm new and even in good use shape is rather an expensive lens. Um, so in such an instance, um, if you have an old DX leftover such as a 12 to 24, 10 to 24 for your FX camera, that's perfectly fine as well until you save up enough money either to get like a 16 to 35 or a 18 to 35 millimeter FX wide zoom. But please uh, don't consider the thoughts as many novices do. And all these photography magazines are guilty of this BS. I mean, they're just so full of crap. Well, you got a DX camera. Here's the list of DX lenses we recommend. Well, screw you. Screw you, magazines. You are full of crap. Don't recommend DX lenses for your uh, DX camera. Okay? Just ridiculous. Recommend the best lens. Obviously, we have a different crop value here. This is still a mid-range zoom, the 24-85 to 85 VRG on the 7100. Obviously, its equivalent is not 24-85, to 85, but it's still a perfect mid-range zoom. It's Nikon Sharpest mid-range zoom. It's perfectly equipped for your DX camera. Not only that, there are a huge plethora of these. It used to be a kit lens that came with the Nikon D600. So you can find them typically for 200 $220 used. So you need to be asking, what is the best lens for my camera? Now, as far as current production Nikkor lenses goes, Nikon produces a lot more FX lenses than it does DX. And of course, we can, for all intents and purposes, consider all film lenses FX lenses for obvious and logical reasons. Um, here being a case not specific to that, but like the 70 to 300, this is an FX lens. This is still a super top. This is number one recommendation for your uh, DX camera. Obviously, you have a different crop value. You're talk, not talking about 70 to 300, but you're talking about a different crop value on an APS-C DX uh, sensor, but it's still the best lens. And the next best part is, obviously, if you upgrade to an FX, you've already got the lenses. So with, as, an, as a uh, FX, as a DX camera owner, you're getting the best of both worlds. If later on you decide to get an FX cameras, you're not stumped with a bunch of DX lenses going, oh my god, I'm going to have to throw everything into APS-C crop sensor mode, or I'm going to have to start collecting more expensive FX lenses. Actually, FX lenses, the used ones, are a lot cheaper because there's just a huge number of them out there. Another benefit, obviously, is that some of the crappier lenses that have edge distortion are a lot nicer on your DX camera. Why? Well, think about it. That lens is spitting out the same light at the end, pooping out the same light out of the rear element as it doesn't matter if it, the lens doesn't give a damn if it's sitting on an FX camera or a DX camera, it's still pooping out the same light at the rear. So if that particular crappy mid-range zoom, for example, of which Nikon has produced more than a few, you're actually dismissing that. Obviously you can do that on an FX camera as well and crop out the distortion. But the sensor on the DX camera has already done it for you. Make sense? Yes, that's right. So some of the lenses that can be found cheap, like some of the cheaper uh, mid-range zoom Nikkors, like the 
older uh, 24 to 120 that uh, has uh, coma and has uh, too much uh, edge distortion perfect lens on this camera here's another example if you can find an old 16 millimeter which every fish eye has edge distortion it's just the nature of a fish eye the best fish eyes in the world doesn't it doesn't matter if it's a Nikkor AI the AIS or the current version 16 millimeter Nikkor or even the 10.5 millimeter DX lens has edge distortion okay you can take care of part of that uh, in Photoshop but only to a certain extent obviously the 10.5 you're not going to crop anything out of it except later in post but if you have a 16 millimeter if you find one for cheap it's like well that's an FX lens you know I got a DX camera well buy it the, that 16 millimeter will make a perfect equivalent roughly 20 millimeter lens on your DX camera Additionally so, it has a much higher resale value. Additionally so, you're cropping out that corner, um, that corner of fuzziness, that uh, corner coma on the lens. APS-C sensors cropped it out for you. Hey, don't even have to mess with it in post. All the better, right? Not that that takes much time, but anything that saves you time, time is money, right? So please stop considering the even existence of DX lenses versus FX. Now you need to consider compatibility obviously also specifically if you have a D3000 or D5000 series camera but completely ignore the fact that DX lenses exist. Just think about that for a second and say well what are you talking about? And this is what I hate all these damn photography magazines. I mean are they all nothing but glorified commercials. I mean if you flip through a photography magazine they're all digitized now, but if you flip through them on your PDF viewer, they're nothing but like 60% commercials. Buy this crap, buy that crap, you got a DX camera, here's some awesome DX. Well, fuck you. Excuse my language. You know, I don't want to hear that fluffy crap. You guys are being paid, so kiss my ass. I want to know what the best lens is. If my DX camera can take this wonderful, super sharp mid-range zoom, and it's just a kick-ass lens, then why the hell am I interested in buying you know that crappy 18 to 55 uh, DX mid-range zoom that that uh, that that uh, Captain Doofus, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, Ren Cockwell, I mean Ken Rockwell, <laughs> Ken, well, that idiot actually recommends that as a top 10 lens of all time. That's got a polymer mount on it. I mean, has he lost his mind? He must have Alzheimer's or something. I think it's just genuine stupidity. Actually, he's the uh, Ned Flanders of the photography world. He's uh, like the doofus that pushes the carts in front of the grocery store because he's not smart enough to use the cash register. He's like he's there, but he's not really there. Um, so you, you can't take stuff like that into consideration. It's just pure stupidity. The best lens is the best lens. Is it compatible? Obviously, that's an important question. But please do not consider the existence of FX versus DX lenses. The best is the best. Okay? If it's compatible, this is what I keep as a bump around lens on my DX cameras uh, most of the time, 24 to 85. Either that or like, if, oh my god, another FX lens, a 50 millimeter uh, AIS uh, 1.4. You know, it's like, well, a normal lens on a D7100 is the 35 millimeter. And yeah, that lens is actually, even though it's a cheap plastic construction made in China. You know, it's cheap, but it's really damn sharp. It's a good lens. I've even got a couple of them. You know, you need that focal length. I mean, that's equivalent 50 millimeter for a DX camera. But even a cheap used one of those is going to run you 130 bucks. You know what the hell I can grab a 50 millimeter for? Do you know? I can grab a tank made back in the 70s, a tank of a 50 millimeter for 60 bucks. I mean, it's just a tank. Like, oh no, it's manual focus. Well, so what? Or if you got a D7100, buy an autofocus uh, D series uh, 50 millimeter uh, f1.8. You know, for 80 bucks typically. You know, it doesn't have to be a 35 mil. Well, that's a different focal length. That's roughly about 75 millimeters. Well, there's this neat little invention they got in post production. It's called cropping. You know? I'll talk about this in another video series too as far as cropping goes and uh, you know uh, you can't uh, crop out crap and make it look any better which is why you should use a nice prime a lot of the time because cropping is 
is basically about one third or more of a post production work with your photography in Photoshop, Lightroom, whatever it is, if you use all of them together. You know, there's only so much you could do to clean up crap. You got to have a good image to begin with. And uh, it's like, well, I got a DX camera. I need to buy 18 to 55 because that's the mid range DX lens. No! DX lenses don't exist. They don't exist. The best lens is the best lens. Yes, the 24 to 85 has an equivalent APS-C crop sensor mode that is not 24 to 85. It is different, but it's still a perfect mid-range zoom, and it's the best option. And it's damn cheap, and it's damn sharp. It has a better resale value, and if this were a crappy 24 to 120, for example, the older one, not the current F4, then guess what? That APS-C crop sensor has cropped out that edge blur. It's like, well, this, this uh, FX lens is famous, not this one. This FX lens is famous for having an edge coma. Well, great. And typically, all those lenses are sharp in the center, and they have edge distortion or edge, uh, edge coma. Okay? It's like, well, great. You know what that means? No, oh, what does that mean? It means it'll make a great lens for a DX camera. And I can get it cheap, too. Oh, my God, I never thought of that before. That makes so much sense. You're just crazy. <laughs> yeah, crazy like a fox. Um, so you need to consider that. And please get out of your head. Um, a lot of people, even pros are guilty of this. And they're brainwashed because they read those same stupid photography magazines, which are nothing but giant purveyors of BS and nonsense. They're just a big friggin' commercial. That's all they are. They're designed, they throw in a few articles built around a bunch of frigging ads to pimp crap. Like Frillo. Like Frillo does. Oh, everything I shoot is f2.8. Everything I shoot is f2.8. Hold on while I sniff this lens. <laughs> oh, it smells like money in my pocket. Shut up. How about you make a good recommendation? How's that sound? How about you actually try to help somebody make a good lens choice based upon logic, empirical criteria, and asking what they need, what the shooter wants, what they need. And the best lens is the best lens. It really is that simple. My entire life is kind of based off the principle of simplicity is divinity. As a translator of ancient Greek and in a hardcore, just ultra hardcore, platonic, uh, neoplatonic uh, philosopher, and, and uh, adherent thereof, you know, ultimately it's all reducible to pure simplicity. Things don't need to be complicated. Have I droned on too much in this video? Oh, why hell yes, but that's the coffee speaking. You know, I gotta blame a couple individuals for sending me, uh, one of them sent me uh, this stuff from Africa. I, I think it must be laced with cocaine or something. <laughs> it'll, keep, it'll keep you awake for three frigging days. Thank you so much for that coffee, by the way. That'll just amp you up like, you know, hooking, hooking up your privates to a 12-volt car battery. <laughs> um, but if you keep anything in mind about this long-winded video, just please remember, there's no such thing as a DX lens. There's only the best lens for your camera, sharpness, value, quality, yada 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 the, the point list that I've gone down so don't consider that DX lenses exist I don't give a damn if you got a DX camera or an FX camera the best lens is the best lens the back end of this lens poops out the same amount of light it doesn't give a crap if it's attached to an FX or DX camera okay it doesn't give a damn so please take that into consideration because it's really important for picking out the best lenses for what you need and what you want. Okay? Thanks for watching another video from the Crazy Angry Photographer and I'll catch you later after I drink some more caffeine. <laughs>